night before the 10 meter individual competition. We got the jalapenos. We got the IBC root beer. And keeping that nine year old tradition alive. So I'm currently watching the men's three meter individual semifinal that's happening just a mile down the street, but I'm in a hotel staying off my feet doing a bit of studying um, before the competition tomorrow. So yeah, cheers to hopefully what is one of the best competitions of my life. I don't even believe in superstitions, but since there are jalapenos and root beer here, might as well. Also, it's super distracting. There's a TV right behind me, and they keep showing Olympic commercials. Since I'm watching the Olympic trials, they're showing Olympic commercials, and I am in a lot of these commercials. It's weird watching NBC and seeing my face on the TV. What's even more weird is that a lot of my friends are in the commercials too, so I'm like seeing them as well. Okay, whatever. Cut to tomorrow, 10 meter individual preliminary. It is the morning after the day of the 10 meter individual competitions. So the beginning clip was filmed two days ago. I filmed nothing yesterday because I was so focused on the competition. And today is just a day of rest and recovery. I have the day completely off of training because tomorrow we have the 10 meter synchro. But I wanna talk about yesterday's competition. Yesterday was a challenging day. I had a solid prelim, not my best, not my worst. I ended up with a 490 and ended up winning that prelim. Going into the semifinals, I was 8 points ahead of David Badaya, who was in 2nd place, and 15 points ahead of David Dinsmore, who was in 3rd place. The semifinal was an interesting competition. Everyone was hitting every single dive, but then there were some big misses, and I myself missed 4 of my dives a lot worse than I would have liked to. While I did get 10s on 2 of my dives, my other 4 were all below 80 points. So, going into the finals on Sunday, I am sitting in second place, only seven points ahead of third place. The top two qualify. That means Sunday's final is going to be the most intense competition I've ever been a part of. It's going to be the most challenging, but it's probably going to be the most exciting, most entertaining, and most fun competition I've been a part of. It's easy for me to get down on myself because I didn't perform the way I wanted to yesterday. I didn't perform... Uh, the way I was hoping. I gave it all I had, but all I had just wasn't what I was hoping for. But the cool thing that I've been reminded by so many people is that just, this is an experience, this is a journey. I'm only 20 years old, and the fact that I am just able to be a part of this contest at this age is such an incredible experience. My identity is not wrapped up in what the results will be yesterday and what the results are going to be on Sunday or tomorrow. My identity is rooted in Christ and that's like the coolest thing for me to remember because no matter what the outcome is on Sunday, there's victory in Christ and that is what truly brings joy into my life. So I have five days until that individual competition to see if I'll make it individually, and it's gonna be a tough battle, but I'm gonna go out and give it everything I have on every single dive. Now that being said, tomorrow I have to switch gears. I have the 10 meter synchro competition with David Badaya. We're sitting 125 points ahead of second place. So in reality, we're sitting in a good spot to qualify. We're just gonna go out there tomorrow night, give each dive all that we have, and we're hoping to put together the best list we've done at these trials so far, because our prelim and semi, we're not our best, um, but we're starting to pick up, our dives are getting better, so I'm hoping tomorrow we can put an awesome synchro list together, and if all goes well, hopefully we can qualify for the Olympic Games tomorrow night. We're sitting in a good spot, but we have to go and dive well. We have to do the best we can. So I'm resting up, I'm excited, tomorrow's gonna be an awesome day. And tomorrow's video should be a little more exciting than this one. This, th this is the reality of what the Olympic trials are like. This is the reality of an elite athlete. This is the true behind the scenes of what goes on at these competitions. What you see on NBC, what you see on the TV screens and on all these different networks is like the exciting stuff. Yeah, they're diving, they're running around the pool deck, they're doing flips and stuff. But the reality of it is we're doing that for about an hour out of our day when we're at the pool at the competition. And then the other 23 are spent in the hotel off our feet resting, relaxing, and recovering because there is so much going on. There, there's such a long buildup to this competition, four years of preparation. 
and then you get a week, a weekend to just show what you've prepared. So the reality is, when we're at the pool, it's the most exciting thing ever. But the rest of our days are spent just as normal people off our feet. I'm watching YouTube videos all day. Like, this is my plan for the day, is to lie in bed and just watch YouTube videos all day. But that's the point of these vlogs. I want anyone who clicks on this video to get a unique aspect I've never seen on YouTube before. So all in all, I'm stoked for tomorrow. I'm stoked for what the future holds. Life is picking up. Life is exciting. I'm excited. I am having the time of my life. I am having so much fun at these trials. And while everything's not going exactly how I want it to go, it's still such a fun experience. So just know, tomorrow and on Sunday, I'm going to be giving it all I have. I'm going to put it out on the line. I'm going to put everything out on the line. Take it one dive at a time. Stay focused and just show love to others in the process. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm actually putting this video out the day that I filmed it so that if you're watching this on Wednesday the 22nd, tomorrow is Thursday the 23rd. And that will hopefully be the day that I qualify for the Olympic Games. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the craziness of my life that will hopefully start tomorrow, uh, hit subscribe because I'm hoping we're about to embark on a pretty wild journey. Okay. See you guys.